Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to install Java 20 on Windows. With that, we will also run a sample Java program after installing. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google, type Oracle Java and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible oracle.com. Click on it. On clicking, here is the official website and here is the link to download Java. Click on it. On clicking, under download section, you can see Java 20 is now visible. So go below and we want for Windows. So this is the section. Click on Windows. Now when you will go below, here you can see installer file is visible. It's only 159 MB. Click on it to download. Here it is the exe file. Click on it. A download started 160 MB. Let's wait. The exe file downloaded. Double click on it to install. Minimize. The setup started. Click next. Our Java 20 will get installed in the following location, which is fine. If you want to change the location, you can click here, but the default is fine. Click next. So we have installed it successfully. Now we need to set the path. So click close. Now we will go to the path for that. Uh, go to C drive, click on it. So we need to go to the path wherein we installed. So I hope you remember it was in C drive program files. Here in Java would be visible. Here it is. Click on it. Now JDK 20 and here it is. Now just click on bin and copy this. So we need to set the same path. Minimize. Go to start. Type uh, environment variables. And herein click on edit the system environment variables. Okay. You need to check this carefully. Click on edit the system environment variables. Click open. Now under advanced environment variables click on it. Now here is the environment variable. What you need to do? You need to go to system variables. You need to go below and just click on path and double click on it. Go below. Here in we need to just click new and right click and paste the same path. That is the same bin path. That's it. Now click OK. OK and the last OK. This means that we have successfully set up Java, but we need to verify it. Go to start. Type CMD, click on open to open the command prompt. Now here in type Java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. So the version number is visible Java 20. That means we successfully installed it. Now let us run a, now let us run our first Java program quickly. For that, what I'll do, I'll minimize this. Let's say I'll go to G drive. I'll right click and I'll create a new folder. Now I'll now I'll open this folder. Right click. Click text document. Here and we will type the name of our Java file that is let's say. Studiopedia, but the extension we want is dot Java. So what I'll do, I'll right click and just type rename and herein I'll change it to Java. When you'll change the extension, it will ask you click here. Do you want to change the extension? Yes. Click yes. And now we have a Java file. When you'll keep the cursor, you can see Java source file is visible. Now right click. We can open with notepad plus plus or I'll go for notepad because a lot of you guys asked me to work on notepad only because we don't need to install any new software notepad plus plus. Now we will type our first Java program here quickly. Okay. So guys herein we type the class name class keyword space class name. It's it is studiopedia. Remember the class name should be similar to the file name that is studiopedia. That's it. Now we will add the code. 
now we added the public static void main to add our code okay what is this here in public is an access specifier static basically allows the main function to be called without the need to instantiate a particular instance okay so void is a return type main is the function wherein a java application begins this is the key function the first function the entry function you can say this args parameter is an array of instances of the class string so this is to receive any command line argument now i'll print something now guys what we did we added system dot out dot print ln to print something here in system is a predefined class that uh, provides access out is an output stream to print something and print ln is a method basically to display the string whatever we add we will add inside will get printed so we printed this amit's first java program now go to file click save all let's say and i'll minimize this now how we will reach this path on command prompt type cmd and just press enter okay now we have reached the path directly okay so what i'll do i'll just type java c space studyopedia dot java this is java c is java compiler because the java program first compiles then runs okay so this is the file name after pressing enter if everything is fine there is no error if there is no error a class file will generate here so this through this you can also understand the jvm concept java virtual machine concept that how a program works in java press enter here it is and and it generated a study period dot class file you can see the time also you can match now type java and the name that's it study period this will run press enter and this printed amit's first java program so what it printed it printed the following amit's first java program so i told you whatever you will add inside system dot dot out dot print ln will get printed so guys in this video we saw how we can run our first java program before that we saw how to install java on windows thank you for watching the video